Random sampling is sampling that is done in such a way that every member of the population has an equal chance of being selected as any other member of the population. For example, using a computer to generate telephone numbers or social security numbers, or putting all the names in a hat and drawing out a name as an example of random sampling. Systematic sampling is the type of sampling that's used at the United States, Mexican, and Canadian borders. Every tenth car or every seventh car is by law asked to pull over and be inspected. The same type of sampling is used at sobriety checkpoints. You can be pulled over even though you don't look like you're drunk, simply because you're the fifth car in the line. Convenience sampling is a method of sampling that you've probably run into at the mall or on your way out of a supermarket where you're asked to participate in a particular survey. It's convenient for the person doing the survey, but usually not very convenient for you, especially if you're leaving the supermarket and you have some ice cream in the bag that's melting as you're taking the survey. Stratified sampling is sampling that involves the population being divided into strata, somewhat like stratified rock found in the Grand Canyon. So the population is divided into these groups, these strata, and then a little bit is drawn from each one of those groups or strata. Now this is different and most often confused with cluster sampling. In cluster sampling, the entire population is divided into groups, and then we use random sampling to randomly select a few of those groups, but then all of the members in those particular clusters or those particular groups are then surveyed. So an example of that would be if, let's say, there were 10 dorms on campus and a surveyor selected two of the dorms and surveyed everybody in those two dorms. They randomly select the two dorms, but then they interview everybody in the two dorms. Using that same idea, using stratified sampling, if there were 10 dorms, then a random sample from each of the 10 dorms would be taken. By the way, in stratified sampling, you don't have to take the same number from the groups that are involved. For example, here, you could have just as well selected two women and three men. That would still be stratified sampling. Finally, multi-state sampling is a sampling method that uses some combination of the basic sampling methods that we just presented.